Well, hello everyone. You guys asked for a client tutorial, and here it is. I'm going to show you guys how to color correct with that new NYX concealer palette, and I'm also going to show you these brushes that I got from a company by the name of Makaiza. I want to say it's a 10 piece professional brush set. It came in a box like this, and I absolutely love these brushes. They also came in one of these little convenient travel cups. You guys know I love these cups, and I absolutely love them. All of them was individually wrapped, and I'm going to go through really really fast now they all have the name on them and the number and this is a powder brush I absolutely love these brushes they feel so durable um, they're not cheapy feeling at all this is a stippling brush that came in it and this is an angle blush brush I'm putting up against the powder brush so you guys can see the difference here's a foundation brush concealer brush blending brush an angled shadow brush, an eyeshadow brush, a liner brush, and there is also another liner brush. And I'm going to show you how to use some of these brushes multiple times. So, I told you guys I will be featuring this product right here. I am going to feature the dark palette. So, let's begin. So here's my lovely client, Salisa. And first, I'm just going to start with Embryolise. This acts as a primer and a moisturizer. And I'm going to use the stippling brush out the kit. This is NARS eyeshadow base. I'm just going to use that with the concealer brush that came in the cup. And use that. This is Mica Magnesia. I'm using that for her oil. She is oily. So we're going to go into the NYX palette and I'm going to take this orange and that concealer brush and I'm just going to put this orange concealer over all her blemishes. So this is an NYX pencil in brown. I'm going to outline her eyebrows and fill them in. And there you have your brow right there, okay? I'm going to clean it up with the yellow. That's for correcting, but I'm going to clean her brows up with it, okay? So that's what I'm using, that angle brush out of the Makaiza brush set. And this is AJ Crimson Foundation in number four, I want to say. I cleaned up the top with that same angle brush. So this is MAC Paint Leaf Paint Pot and that concealer brush. And I'm just going to work this in. All of these brushes are very good and I'm going to use them for multiple uses. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette and I'm going to go into Sin and the angled shadow brush and use that as a brow bone highlight. Now these brushes are very doable, very reasonably priced. Can't talk, you guys know I have braces now. <laughs> this is the Lorac Mega Pro. I'm gonna take uh, Camel and Sienna, the lightest one, and a fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush. This set did not have a fluffy brush, so yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with the blending brush in the set and go in with Sienna. I think those colors are right. The palette is at the shop and I can't really see. And I'm just blending these colors into the crease. Now this is black, it's two blacks in this palette. I'm just gonna put that in the outer V. And then I'm gonna go in with this beautiful color by Opal and use that um, name Opal, I'm sorry, use that shadow brush and put that on her lid. Now this palette has a lot of fallout so it's hard to keep clean. So I'm just gonna go back in with those transition colors and blend it all out. These brushes and that palette is awesome. It just has a lot of fallout. This is Makeup Forever Liner. I'm putting in her waterline. And this is Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara. This is Inglot Number 77 Gel Liner. I'm going to line her upper lash line with that same angle brush I used in the eyebrows. And this is number 43 lashes right here. I'm just going to apply those. And you can get that lash applicator from BH Cosmetics. Link will be below the video. So this is Clinique Foundation. I forgot the shade, but I'm just going to apply that with the foundation brush that came in the set. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and bit blend it in. This is LA Girl Pro Conceal. I will have the link to it below the video also. And this is that same Real Technique sponge. Be not banana powder. Oh my gosh. You guys owe me. It's you guys fault I spilt this trying to show you guys this tutorial. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to set that concealer with that. I'm going to take MAC Deep Dark. I think this is dark. And I'm going to set her face with that. 
this is covergirl queen ebony bronze i'm using that angle brush out of there and i just got through using the powder brush this is delissimo pink from milani that's the blush i'm using and buck out of the urban decay palette again this brush was not in the palette so this is opal from becca i'm still using that same blush brush you guys and glowing her skin look at that glow Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, this is ColourPop Leather Liner. I'm just using that. And I'm going in with Lime Crime Utopia and that same angle brush I used in the brows and for the eyeliner. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that on her lips, okay? So she's going to test out this infallible spray for me. She works at the salon where I work, so she's going to test it and we're going to see if it really works, okay? So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now part of being an MUA is recognizing your mistakes. I took her a little too light and I want her to match her neck a little bit more. So I went back in and corrected it. This is the before picture and this is after I warmed her skin up right there. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.